What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today. Jeepers Creepers are born. So as you saw in that little video I did earlier today, yes, Jeepers Creepers 4 is already set to have a home media release before Thanksgiving. It's coming out on Blu-ray on November 15th, 2022, later this year. So not too long after its Fathom event next month. So for any of you who probably aren't planning to see it in theaters, you don't have to wait long to see it at home. Honestly, again, I if I I'm predicting this i wouldn't be shocked if it ends up being shown on sci-fi in october i also wouldn't be too shocked if for whatever reason this home media release gets pushed up let's say <laughs> i wouldn't be shocked about that either and i also wouldn't be shocked if some of you who now know about this home media release cancel your tickets and decide you know just wait for it to come out on blu-ray for whatever reason if you just decide you don't want to go to a theater to see this movie you would rather watch it at home <laughs> so when it comes to the home media release I don't remember when Jeepers Creepers 3 actually released on home media after its Fathom event, uh, but I, I believe it was the year after. If it was the same year in 2017, you can correct me down in the comment section below, but I think Jeepers Creepers 3 had its home media release in 2018. So, you know, I think honestly what they're hoping for here with a quick home media release like this and already having that figured out, I think what they're hoping for is that they're able to have more success with the home media release versus the ticket sales from this fathom event going off of the auditorium that i can see right now near me this movie is not going to do very well at the box office and i mean why that's not a shocking to anyone this movie is going to do horribly at the domestic box office it's probably going to do fairly better internationally but as a whole this movie probably on as a whole worldwide total box office income with just the theater release, probably going to do $1 million. I'd be shocked if it did more than that. I mean, honestly, I think most of us would be shocked if it even hit a $1 million. I know with Jeepers Creepers 3, they managed to hit a $1 million domestically in one night, which is pretty impressive considering how the series was already in the mud and how the marketing really wasn't all that great for jeepers creepers 3 many of you myself included would argue that it was still a hell of a lot better than what they've been doing with jeepers creepers 4 so if the, if jeepers creepers reborn manages to make a million dollars or more at the box office that is honestly impressive given the circumstances but i wouldn't be too shocked if it bombs it's it's most likely going to bomb and i don't even think that they're relying on this to be a box office success i think what they're going to gauge is if people buy this on the home media release more so than buying it for the theatrical run and they'll gauge that to say you know what we'll do a jeepers creepers 5 it, but to me i'm thinking that jeepers creepers 4 it's not going to come from screen media or jeepers creepers 5 i meant to say jeepers creepers 5 is not going to come from screen media if anything myriad pictures if all this stuff of this lawsuit gets settled by the end of 2024 and if they still want to do anything with this ip you're going to get a jeepers creepers 5 movie from someone else you might even find you know the, the the low low chance of this happening is very slim i know a lot of you would love to see a jeepers creepers movie from a24 i know that the fact of the matter is certain studios they're not going to get in bed with this ip they're, they're, they're just not. And it's understandable why they wouldn't. You know, you can be upset about it as much as you want to at this point. This, if you're upset about anything that has to do with why this IP is in the dirt, you can take that up with Victor Salva. Again, he is the one responsible for why this is the way that it is. It's very unfortunate that something many of us find to be a character that had a lot of potential came from this individual. It's just unfortunate because for a lot of us, I'll include myself in this discussion. This series should be over. This series shouldn't even be still existing. We shouldn't be talking about a Jeepers Creepers 4. We shouldn't be talking about a Jeepers Creepers 5. You know, the fact of the matter is those movies could have still happened after his Cathedral movie and they could have been prequel stories going over the Creeper in other different time frames you know that's another thing i know people will say they liked about the prey movie and uh, the direction they think the predators franchise can go in exploring all of these different uh time periods and just placing predator in it you can do the same thing with the creeper going all, going throughout history and just talking about how the creeper was involved with this civilization that civilization you know the medieval times so many different things the wild wild west which the cathedral opening script actually had him set in the wild wild west so that's something they could have done with the jeepers creepers four or five you know setting it in past times across human civilization of him just taking out all these 
cultures and being the last thing standing, of course. But when it comes to being squandered and being under under underdeveloped underdeveloped as a horror icon all of that is traced back to victor salvo you wouldn't have to worry about this if it came from someone else i know i've talked about this on twitter i wish that someone else birthed this creature to life i wish this came from a james wan a lee Wanell, or somebody else that's well known and respected in the horror community or just a well-known better respected director unfortunately though it came from this a very unique character came from this individual who should not have another chance at directing a movie we should not see any scripts from his brought to life and as far as the character is concerned and the stuff that was already established you know gina phil's returning as trisha jenner that's what many people want for jeepers creepers 5 they wanted that for four they wanted that for three they want her in the focus point but it seems like we're not going to get that anytime soon because if jeepers creepers 5 happens it coming from a24 that would be great coming from blumhouse that would be great you know i honestly would even be shocked if jason blum got his hands on this i wouldn't be shocked i think what was i think at first it might be a little bit you know catching you off guard but honestly i could see blumhouse messing with this before a24 i could that's just me I know a lot of you actually already find Jason Blum to be controversial anyway, <laughs> so I think a lot of you wouldn't be shocked if Jason Blum got his hands on this IP either and brought in some well-known director or filmmaker to bring this IP back to life, but still, Blumhouse or A24 touching this th doesn't seem likely. The home media release of November 15th, again, that's what's set in stone so far it'll be up for well it's actually already up for pre-order you can go buy it right now i think it's up for like 25 dollars maybe even a little less than that from what i'm remembering but again i got this information from blu-ray.com and if any of you were looking forward to that fathom event and you plan on canceling it i don't blame you if you want to just wait for the whole media release because again that's going to happen in november later this year but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course limiters any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video